and gentlemen, welcome back to Ulthwan. Let's see, what were these idiots? Uh, to Cassar Malthus Dyer. The Puppets of Chaos. I wonder. What would you have of me? Actually, since they went up there. Can I offer assistance? Yeah, Let's head down there and resettle the glittering tower, because they broke because those damn rats. Actually, uh Do I still need? I do. Rene. Treasure hunt. I was hunting for treasure in the ruins of an ancient city. You find a hideous, putrid demon of Nurgle slumped in a cage. Its pockets riddled with flesh oozing through the bars. Fly truck voice can heard you that they have heat. That's of healing properties. A bull claim indeed. With Nurgle demons, that's entirely possible. Kill the demon. Plus five chaos corruption for fourteen. Yeah. But okay. Can you recruit anybody? I've got just under two thousand gold. Just give me another silver helm. Unassigned skill points? For who? Yorella. Oh, okay, she's my uh, my light mage. Or one of them. Uh, okay, she guards the phoenix gate. She's up there with Latania guarding the phoenix gate. Their skill is legend. Uh, just add light up. Add the level of light of battle. Skip Dorian, Fergal. For honor. Ooh, research available. That's always good. Ooh, that's not a bad one. But take gem setting. Rubinus. I think that's how I'm supposed to say that name, but I haven't got a clue. Goodbye. Right, we got a lot of stuff happening. Alright, as long as Malphus Dyer there doesn't decide to attack me this turn. Calador has got a surplus of people. Come on. The pleasure is at war with the New World colonies of Hexwaddle, who just finished the rit their ritual of contemplation, because they're they're right behind me on the rituals. What do you wish to discuss? Uh, they want me to join the war against Clan Pestilens? I'm okay with that. Alright, the Kassar Malthus Dyer. Are you going to be a moron? Yep. Because I've still got... the garrison of Angerial. Which means, this is going to be a slaughter. Let's go kick some chaos ass.
Alrighty, so... Basically just bog-standard Chaos Warrior units. The only thing that's really going to be a pain is going to be the uh, Marauder Horseman. But then again, I've got 850 troops from Angerial backing me up. Okay, where my reinforcements are coming in from behind me, so Oh right, I forgot he is actually I forgot. Meron actually is mounted now on a on a great eagle. Where are the marauders? Ah. Because if if the marauders are destroyed. then there's really nothing they have that can threaten my phoenix. Back. Princess of Alcorn. With Cadet. Stop the king. My archers are much, much more powerful than yours. Just saying. Gonna take them a little bit of time to get there, but we've done more than that. He's standing solo against an entire army, against an entire unit of chosen, and he's winning. Or he's not winning, but he's keeping them even. Let's tip the scales. Because the Lothern Seaguard are actually a 
a sp also have a sp also have a spear unit or a spear component. up some because I want to I just want to cast her to die there we go they got it I lost 19 they lost 216 Mm-hmm. And now... Oh wow, only one of their units even survived. Need of slaves. The armor... Because she she gained me. the armor of Kalidor? Plus 12 armor, 5% ward save, 20% fire resist, 5% physical resist. Damn. What would you have of me? A promising lieutenant. And I got 30 more wave fragments for defeating for defeating that army in combat, so. I was gonna say, if you're going to try and fight me on my home turf. Once again, rebuild the tower. The, the waystone. Yeah, okay, so next turn. No, not next turn, but the turn after it. Also. Avlorn 8. Wisdom awaits. I am Teclis, High Law Master of the White Tower. Yes, I know who you are. You're my brother.
if you say so. Fine, we'll do that. Right, so it's going up to 172. How much? I only got 22 influence. So I actually I can improve my relations with the Order of Lore Masters. Some of the seems close associates. All right, so hopefully 192 is enough to get me. Is enough to convince them. It says Torachar. How long until you're healed? Two turns. And then one, probably two turns to get there. So I'll probably just have to straight up attack Torgard rather than try and siege it. Cult of Pleasure has do is doing their ritual. Hmm. They're receiving. Alright, so Fortunus is back. Just auto resolve this because there's two of them. And that's the end of the Puppets of Chaos. Mm-hmm. Give you Indomitable. A true Asur. Uh, give you the Ithamar Chariot for right now. Corruption. Skip. Skip. Ah, uh, yes. Let's take. Light Ithlamar armor. Actually, no. We're gonna take military advancements three. No. No, we're not. Because I just remembered. The people are resting. Uh, actually, no, no, we are going to take military advancements 3 because that's not as good as I thought it was. At your service. Right, next turn, the Great Eagle is finished. Can I offer assistance? Actually, first off, what I require is you to get back to Lothern. Orders. Adventure awaits. Alright, so next turn the Great Eagle's Finnet is fully healed in Tyrion's army. Okay, so we've got military advancements three research. 
Sam has gotten Builder. Mung has returned. Hmm. That's good. Let's get the speed for now. Skip. First, Tyrion is done healing, which means it's time to launch the attack on Torgard. He does have this. He does have Sunfang, the Dragon Armor, Venarian, and Melandir. Does he have any more? No, he doesn't have any more uh, quest stuff. Corruption makes them. I'm at 162 with them. So no, it says. <laughs> okay, the Phoenix Gate has a population surplus, which is good for me. Pay me 300 gold for the military access of the New World Colonies. Yeah, I'll take it. The hell? Is that a screaming bell? Welcome. What brings you here? They want me to join the war against Itza? No. I can do the invocation of Vol again. Harrieth as the builder. Win two battles against Dark Elves for 40 wave fragments. Can do! But since this is just Razor Sack, so if I go and sack Torgard. I'm actually just gonna auto re auto resolve that. To the victor, the spoils. And we're gonna sack it. For Alaria, my queen. And then next turn, no mercy. I'll just go right back in and use it as a second victory. So I need three thousand three hundred and twenty-five wave fragments. I'm gaining sixty-five for this turn, but I'm gaining 35 normally. Real quick. It's down here. That's a Plague Priest. Okay, yeah, and he gets, he's got a Plague Furnace for a mount, that's what that is, okay. There's parts of Kemri. I can upgrade in the Shrine of Cain. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and upgrade that as well. Skip you. Oh. Tyrion game. Cersea. Thing. I think this is going to be the last turn for this episode.
Well, it might we might have time, depends on how long it takes. Speak your poisoned words and be gone. Nine hundred gold for a peace tree. Nope. Okay, the sacrifice to Mathlin has been performed. I failed the pool of souls, but meh. Ugh. Next time, call louder. Alright, before we end this episode... Yes? What do you want? I want you to join my confederation, brother. No. Fuck. Never. Ludicrous. I refuse. You're third in terms of strength. I am first in terms of strength. You you combine, we're invincible at that point, Teclas. Spoiled little bastard. Champion of the Ever Queen. I'm gonna auto calc this one again just because we're running out of time on this episode. And then we're gonna occupy. Our Dragon Bane Gem. That's my second victory over the Dark Elves, so Tour Guard now belongs to me. Ooh, good. I have trinkets back. The city is crumbling. I'll rebuild it. Not that hard. Surplus of three in Nagarith. I don't even know where Nagarith is right now. Once we get back to the back to my turn, I'll end it. End the episode. Show me some respect. Uh, Charon Carr is coming after me. I've got a ton of allies. This is suicidal. I mean, yes, they're ranked sixth, but I'm ranked first, and the balance of power is massively in my favor. Charon Carr just effectively committed suicide. By declaring war on one, two, three, four, five. Five separate nations. Five separate powers, including two ma at least two major powers. Ah, oh, damn it. They failed, but they didn't fail hard enough. Hmm. Offer a larger gift so that I can gain some influence. But that is this episode done, folks. If you enjoyed, please feel free to like or favorite the video. You can also leave a comment down below if you have anything you'd like to say. And if you want to keep up with me never seeing my current series, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. That does help me out a lot, and I do appreciate it. As for that, folks, I have been Day. We're almost to the... F we're already more than halfway to the fourth ritual. So that means we're coming up on the end game here. Hopefully we can survive this and Ulthwan will win. For now, good night.
and good gaming.